Hi there. Do you disaggregate your data, whether it's monitoring data or program activity data, by disability status? Today in this video, what I'm going to do is just quickly show you how to use the Washington Group short set of questions on disability and how to program them into Kobo Toolbox or ODK using XLS form in order to collect this data the next time you're doing a monitoring exercise or collecting information for your program. Uh, so without further ado, if you open up this website, washingtongroup-disability.com and find the short set of disability questions, there is a little link that you can click on and it will bring up a set of questions. It's a very short uh, six questions that basically ask um, about six different disabilities. So if they have difficulty seeing, hearing, walking or climbing steps, remembering or concentrating, difficulty with self-care, or difficulty communicating in your usual language or being understood. If you open up your ODK form, I'm just gonna show you how to um, ask these questions in um, an XLS form uh, format. So the label is where you want to put the six questions. I'm just gonna give myself a couple of extra uh, lines here. And just so you know, I've got a consent question, first of all, um, which allows somebody to skip all of the questions if they don't consent to collecting data. Uh, so that's why you see this, these other questions on there. And what all I'm going to do is copy and paste these six questions um, into the label. So let's do that first. All right, so I've copied in those six questions. And what I'll do is this, this template that I'm uh, creating right now in this video, I'll allow you to um, go and download it yourself. So um, I'll put a link below the video that you can go and get this template. So once you've put in these six set of questions, what you want to do is make them each a select one question. And we're going to call these health problems, okay? So select one health problem, and that's the exact same type of question for all six of these. And uh, the name you're going to give each of these questions might be seeing, hearing, walking, remembering, uh, self-care, and uh, communicating. Okay, so th those are the variable names we will apply to all of these questions. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is make my choice list. So you can see I've said, please choose from the choice list health problem. Okay, so if I copy that and go into my choices tab, then ah, I've got it already in here. So health problem is my list name and then um, from the set of questions, you can see that no, no difficulty, yes, some difficulty, yes, a lot of difficulty and cannot do it all are just copied here into the label. And then the name is the same thing, except no spaces, no capital letters, no um, special characters. So no, no difficulty, some difficulty, a lot of difficulty and cannot do it all. So um, health problem is the list name. So we have that in there already. And the last thing I'm going to do is make these six questions into a group of questions so that they all show up on the same page. So I'm just going to say begin group and this is going to be maybe disability and end group disability. Now what I like to do is just put um, a color around my groups so that I know that I've kind of where I've begun a new group and ended a group. So I want to make these six set of questions, um, these six questions, a group and appearance should be a field dash list. And that means they'll all show up on exactly the same page. Now, one other thing that you might want to add, I think you should add to this set of questions is actually a note at the very top. So I'm going to insert um, a blank line here. Let me take off that color. And I'm going to make this a note. Okay, so it's not going to ask for a response from anyone, um, but I'm going to call it um, a health problem note. And we're actually going to take this introduction statement and we're going to paste that into the um, question. 
questionnaire. So that it comes up at the very top of that group of questions. And what we want to do then is add a hint, read this statement out first, for example. And then it will ask the, the other questions. I'm also just going to make sure that the six questions are required um, so that the respondents need to put in an answer for each of these. Um, and I think that is ready to go with our field list set of questions. So on Kobo Toolbox, here's what this field list, field list um, set of question looks like. So do you give consent if we say yes? Uh, the next questions ask about difficulties you may have doing certain activities because of a health problem. Uh, do you have difficulty seeing? So I'm going to say no, no difficulty, no, maybe I have yes, some difficulty with this, a lot of difficulty with this, but no difficulty with these, and then validate. Uh, so that's what it looks like on Kobo Toolbox. And on the screen now you can see my mobile phone asking this same set of questions. So do you give consent? Yes. And swiping forward, it will just ask these six questions. You can see my introduction statement at the top. Then I can just answer those questions um, however I want to, and then swipe forward, and I'll be able to save the form and exit. Now, very quickly, there is one other way you could display this set of questions um, using a table list. So it, it shows the question, questions a little bit differently on the screen of the mobile device when you're collecting the data. Um, I do find that this works better on a larger screen. So if you just have um, a small mobile phone that you're using to collect the data, um, the way that I've already shown probably works best. Um, but you can also use something called a table list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another group around these questions. Okay, and I'm going to call this, so I'm going to say begin group, and I'm going to call this uh, disability table, end group, groups table, and I'll just color those very quickly. And then in the appearance, what I'm going to say is this is a table dash list. And in Kobo Toolbox, here's what it looks like when you use the table list format of asking these disability questions. So do you give consent? Yes. And then your introduction sentence is going to appear at the top. And then um, your basically your set of questions will appear down the left hand side. Your possible answers will come across the top. And so you can very quickly just answer all questions in a table setup instead of um, one question at a time, as in the field list example. And again, on the phone, um, this table list set of questions or appearance, if I say yes, I give con consent and swipe forward. You can see that my screen is quite small. So it has set up these questions in exactly the same way with the questions on the left hand side, the options across the top. Um, but because my screen isn't very wide, it's really squished them. So you can see no, no difficulty, yes, some difficulty, a lot of difficulty and cannot do it at all. So it's still, uh, I prefer this way of answering these questions. Um, however, you just need to make sure that um, your data collectors are trained if the options at the top do look very squished. <laughs> Hey, hope that was super helpful. If you want to subscribe to my channel, that would be great. And give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. Um, as I stated before, if you would like the templates that I shared in this um, video, just go to the link in the description below and you can go and download those. Uh, so you can use them for whatever program you're running. Um, hope to see you again next week. Bye.